Hampton here in Rabat. Nice faking from Jones, trying to draw out Ilgun. Good work from the Turk with the push kick. Trying again with the fake, trying to draw the response. Good front leg, just sneaking under the guard there. Yogun just closing the distance, trying to stay in the centre of the mat as best she can. Jade Jones always putting on the pressure. Tries with the back kick, good slide round the corner there from Hattis. Yogun read it really well, lovely footwork from the Turk. And obviously tactically, they planned that one. Good execution of the game plan there. Jones working in the clinch here. Hattis Yogun just leaning forward. Good tactics from the Turk. Two-pointer will certainly help. Jones again, pushing forward. Mathis Yilgun straying towards the corner of the mat here. Gamjon territory, but credit to the Turk. She's holding that distance as best she can. Doesn't want to give up any more. Does well again, not only to avoid the headshot, but to avoid the Gamjon too. Last 30 seconds in an engrossing first round. It's been good from Hattis Ilgun. Jade Jones under a little bit of pressure here. Good back kick attempt from Ilgun. Gives Jones something to think about as we reach into the last 15 seconds and this hook kick just missing. Good close of the distance again from Hattis Yilgun. She's got her game plan correct. It's all well and good to have a plan, but to be able to execute it against a double Olympic champion is never easy. She's done well, has Hattis Yilgun. Credit to her as we end an enterprising opening period here. Well, the World Championship silver medal that she took in Muju. A real breakout for Hattis Ilgun. Jade Jones, not the best World Championships by her own admissions. She's much more intense, much more focused. But that back kick slipped round the corner. Lovely work from Hattis Ilgun. Anticipated, rolled it, picked it off. Hattis Kilbert. Good. Two points to the good. Well, Jade Jones is made of tough stuff. She knows how to come back. That is Hilgun, likewise, stern, faced, and ready. Tries with the front leg counter. Tarkin Red steps forward. Obviously, rushing into that distance to try and get into the clinched. Jones scores with the headshot over the shoulder, does well to avoid the gam, John, and the headshot. Good intensity from Hattis Ilgun, but a lovely headshot from Jones. Back into this one now, 3-2 in favour of the British fighter. Hattis Ilgun just leaning forward, waiting for the referee to intervene. This has been the tail of the match so far. Jones trying to be aggressive, left a space there on the way out of the clinch. Great tactics from Hattis Ilgun. Tactically, she's been very good. And that Gamjon will help. If you put your hand on the ground, it is a Gamjon. Good work from the referee, but really good work from Hattis Ilgun. Jones trying with that front leg push. Good work again in the clinch on the inside. If it works, do it again. It's a four point gap. Yilgun standing steady, blocking well, trying to run into that distance. You've got to be brave to do that. She's got that real quickness off the spot. That's the Turk. Reverse misses. And it is a, the tactical adaptation from Hattis Ilgun. 
credit to her. She studied the back leg in reverse of Jones. That preparation has paid off so far. Jones' distance quite far away there. Neilkin doing very nicely to slow things down here. Trying to kill the clock a little bit. Referee staying well back out of this one. And we're into the end of that period there. Well, great work from Hattis Neilkin. Running in, using the clinch in that close distance. They've got their tactic spot on. What about well, the coaching in the Great Britain corner? game plan can they concoct between the two of them. Great headshot from Jones, but stepping out of the clinch there, good work from Ilgun. I've been most impressed with that, shifting to the side. Shifted to the side, avoided the back kick, scored two. Likewise shifted round the corner, took another two. Even my mathematics can extend to the fact that that adds up. Puts her into a four point lead here. Super focused, Hattis Ilgun, superstar Jade Jones. Again, the same technique. Wonderful from Hattis Ilgun. Can Jade Jones adapt to it? Referee <laughs> just. Left them standing there looking at each other. Ready to go again here. Front leg from Jones. Well blocked from Hattis Ilgun. It's been the tactics of the tuck that have worked so far. Nice hook kick round the corner from Jade Jones there. To the delight of the crowd. Pulls herself back. Two points gap now. It's difficult for Hattis Ilgun now. Do you defend? Do you attack? Well, she tries for the latter. Steps forward. And we've seen in the clinch here, Jones has worked herself out of the clinch and left a space as Ilgun is exploited. So the athletic efforts of Jones, will they pay off here? A minute and some change left in the third and final period here. That is Ilgun, good value for this lead. Jones just looking for a simple shot to get herself back into this one. Hook kick around the corner. Tries with the elaborate headshot, gets close. Mattis Yogan just reminds Jones that she's in the contest there. Better from Jade Jones there, sliding round the corner. 45 seconds left in this one. Ilgun composed, defending, closing the distance well. Better in the clinch. Well, the fitness of Jones. Has she got it in the legs here? Last 30 seconds. Looking for a gam, John. The referee a distance away, as was that punch. The clock is ticking here. Hattis Hilgen has the gap. Jones tries with a hook kick round the corner. No gam, John given. Into the last 10 seconds here. Hattis Hilgen on the defensive. Jones missing with the back kick. Trying to find any sort of way through here. Looking for a gamge, you're looking for a shot. Hattis Ilgun looking good for the Grand Prix gold. Top class from the Turk. Game plan from start to finish. Great stuff from Hattis Kubra Ilgun. Well, Jane Jones was full of fitness and endeavour. As Hattis Ilgun offers up a prayer of thanks.